Hello and welcome back to Airtech Hunting. It's extremely foggy this morning, but we're waiting for the pigeons to come out and we've got a bunch of impacts to take them down. So sit back and enjoy. The fog was pretty heavy, but that didn't stop the pigeons from coming out once the feed got delivered. Their sheer numbers are mesmerizing and left unchecked will become an even bigger problem for this farmer. As soon as the tractor with the feed left, they were literally everywhere and it was time to get ready to take care of this big problem. About 70 meters that I estimated there, but yeah, he's straight down. <laughs> The fog didn't make it easy as we could barely make out the birds in the scope. Yes, nice. that was 95 meters in the pigeon. <laughs> it didn't bother Maggie too much and she makes a perfect hit on this one. The two guns we are using today is the Impact M3 with the 800mm barrel shooting 34 grain javelins at 1030 feet per second. The other gun is the Impact X Mark II with a 600mm barrel shooting 26 grain javelins at 930 feet per second. <laughs> nice, 30 meters. <laughs> Gilman decided to open his account with a few sparrows while we wait for the fog to lift. <laughs> I estimate 75 meters, but yeah, he's down. I could barely see this one. So with the dense fog, it's pretty impossible to range it with the laser rangefinder. So what I'm using now is the parallax on the Element Titan scope. So as soon as I see the pictures in focus, you can check on the distance meter on the side of the scope and estimate your range that way as well. So it, it works pretty well. So another one down at 30 meters. This poor sparrow had no chance as it got hit with all the might of a 26 grain javelin. Yes, got that one at 70 meters. By this stage the fog slowly started to lift and we could see our targets just that little bit better. <laughs> Down he goes, 87 meters. This pigeon didn't give me lots of options, so I went for the neck. And although neck shots aren't very pretty, they are extremely effective. It just takes a little while for them to expire, but eventually they all do. A perfect headshot by Tillman and although it's also not a pretty sight, I can assure you it is extremely effective. Another one at 70 meters. <laughs> 91 meters, also straight down. Now that's better, no drama and just the way I like it. On the impact Tillman is using is a brand new Element Optic Helix. This is a 4 to 16 magnification version and it's also in first focal plane. This scope is small and lightweight and perfect for hunters and field target shooters. It also shares the same design features and turrets as the original Helix but with a smaller front ocular for a wider depth of field. For more info on the scope, please visit the link down in the description.
just take note that Tilman is using one of my older scope cam systems and that the camera on here isn't very good and not very reflective of the quality of the scope. <laughs> this one hits a little high but a paralyzing spine shot nonetheless. The slow motion make it seem like it's taking forever but in reality it's over in a few seconds. The 800mm barrel on the M3 provides a significant power increase. It provides a much longer runway for these 34 grain.218 javelins to accelerate on. That means I can keep the regulator just under 160 bar, I'm not even maxing out the hammer, the valve is still open, but it's still shooting these javelins at 1030 feet per second. Truly incredible. I'm calling it my power barrel and it is extremely accurate. <laughs> these javelins just peg them down on the spot. It was 98 meters. The pigeons have absolutely no chance against these 34 grains. Tillman is having a blast here with the Impact Mark II on that roof. It looks like a war zone up there. That's <laughs> so another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> so yeah, I took the scope cam off, just told them to enjoy the gun. Uh, check through the scope without running through the scope cam there because it takes a lot of light away from what the scope should actually put through to your eyes. And yeah, I think he's enjoying it a lot. Well, you can see it on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to take Fat Bastard out now just because it, it's now a nice clear day and we're going to do some really long, long range shots. And Fat Bastard currently is heavily souped up with 42 grain javelin slugs at 1000 feet per second. Yeah, so it's a uh, excellent long-range gun so we're going to see what we can do with him. Meanwhile Tillman made himself comfortable at the back and had a nice decoy situation going on that should keep him busy for a while. Yes so that was straight on 83 meters Maggie wasn't kidding and this one drops right to the floor. Down he goes, 105 meters. Yes, so that was 88 meters. <laughs> 185 meters. What did I tell you? Fat bastard never disappoints. <laughs> this gun has been such a reliable workhorse and can do these shots over and over again. Yes, 85 meters straight down. <laughs> Down he goes, 165 meters. This one hits him in the neck and he most likely expired before he even hits the ground. One meters. <laughs> mm. 
well that is it from us we had loads of fun it started a bit miserable with all the fog but in the end it turned out to be a great day so if you like this content please hit the like button also remember to subscribe and hit the bell as well so you get notified uh, for the next video and then we'll see you again next time cheers cheers <laughs>